20 years ago, South Korea went cap in hand to seek a bailout from the International Monetary Fund. Let's review the 1997 economic turmoil and where Korea is now 20 years after the crisis. How did people overcome the massive 1997 financial crisis? Meet the breadwinners hardest hit by the crisis and see how they turned the crisis into opportunity. The 1997 economic crisis influenced job preferences for many youngsters. Learn more about its impact on Korean society today. Samtan Art Mine is Korea's first art and culture complex transformed from a coal mine. Visit the site to dig deeper into its history and values. On November 21, 1997, the South Korean government requested a bailout to the International Monetary Fund for a huge currency crisis. 결정된 자금 지원 규모는 IMF에서 210억 불, 세계은행이 100억 불, 아세아 개발은행이 40억 불. 20 years have passed. How has the Korean economy changed? According to a survey of 1,000 adults conducted by the Korea Development Institute, more than half of the respondents, 57.4%, cited the financial crisis as the lowest moment in the past 50 years of the Korean economy. Further hit by the 1997 Asian financial crisis, Korea's foreign exchange reserves totaled 20 billion US dollars at the end of 1997 before dropping to 3 billion dollars. 대외에서 많이 밀려들은 자본들을 옥석을 잘 가려서 투자할 수 있는 그런 능력이 준비가 안된 상태에서 돈이 많이 들어오다 보니까 기업들이 그 해외 싼 금리의 돈을 빌려서 고위험 투자를 하게 됩니다. 불행하게도 그렇게 많이 투자한 돈들이 은행 부실로 가게 되고. The country's short-term debt ratio also soared to 300% with a current account deficit of 10 billion dollars and the annual economic growth fell to negative 5.5% from 7 to 8%. In return for providing $21 billion in credit, the IMF demanded a radical reform consisting of higher interest rate policies, structural adjustment, and commercialization of public sectors, among others. 30대 재벌 중에서 그 당시에 19개가 문을 닫게 되고요. 은행들도 거의 절반 이상의 문을 닫고 특히 어, 해외에서 싼 금리에 돈을 많이 빌려와서 고위험 대출을 했던 그 종합금융회사는 33개 어, 종합금융회사가 한개 남고 다 문을 닫을 정도로. Also, the number of unemployed people skyrocketed to 1,463,000 in 1998, a year after the bailout from the IMF. IMF의 충격의 위기에서 영향을 받지 않은 사람이 없었다고 할 정도인데 그때 당시 이제 97년 98년 요때 졸업을 앞둔 사람들은 취업문이 꽉 닫히게 됐고 기업들보다는 솔직히 국민들 개개인적으로 체감했던 어려움이 더 컸을 것 같습니다. Korea made an early repayment of the entire amount of the IMF loans in just 3 years and 8 months, 2 years earlier than expected. Where did that immense power come from? 국민들이 모은 금 가치가 30억 달러였고, 그때 IMF에 차관을 받은 것이 210억 달러였는데, 30억 달러가 그 금무기 운동으로 충당을 한 셈이죠. Over three million people from all walks of life rallied in a spirit of self-sacrifice, donating a total of 200 tons of gold. The 1997 crisis haunted the everyday lives of Koreans, but it also sparked a positive change in Korean society. IMF라는 커다란 사건을 계기로 해서 한국 경제가 드디어 어, 글로벌 경제의 어, 게임 규칙을 배우기 시작했다는 것. 이전까지 정부 주도의 경제 정책이라든지 뭐 재벌들의 그런 무모한 사업 확장 이런 것들이 이제 어떤 한 순간에 변하게 된 그런 사고 방식의 변화가 된게 가장 큰 긍정적인 것 같고요. 
20 years after the economic crisis, Korea's foreign exchange reserves stands at $384.4 billion, which is nearly 20 times that of 1997, making the country's foreign exchange holdings the ninth largest in the world. Also, the exports hit a record $55.13 billion in September, which is the strongest monthly export figure in 61 years, and the GDP touched a landmark of $30,000 level. Last but not least, the Korea Composite Stock Price Index, or KOSPI, climbed to an all-time high, 2,500 points from 650 points in early 1997. Today, Korea is standing at the knee of the curve. 성장률 자체가 좀 떨어지는 양적 성장의 한계에 이제 봉착을 했고 가계 부문에서도 이제 소비 여력이 조금 더 줄어드는 그 양극화도 있고요. 중산층이 무너지고 양극화가 진행되는 게 세계적인 현상이기는 한데 한국은 유난히 그 속도가 빠르기 때문에 좀 주의를 기울여야 할 필요가 있다. 성장이 이루어지지 않으면은. 양극화를 해결할 수 있는 또 재원을 마련할 수도 없기 때문에 지금 이제 다가오는 4차 산업혁명 시대에 대비해서 어떻게 혁신을 이룰 수 있는 인력을 많이 만들어내고 또 혁신이 보상을 받는 시장 구조를 만들어낼 것이냐. The Korean public joined forces and even made personal sacrifices to overcome the 1997 currency crisis using the previous experience as a stepping stone, the country is gearing up for a new leap socially and economically. During the 1997 financial crisis in Korea, four in 10 Korean citizens or their family members lost jobs or filed for bankruptcy. What happened to those hit by the crisis? Let's meet some of them to find out how they overcame this hardship. Kim Hyun Il used to run his own business. But his company went bankrupt during the 1997 economic crisis. After losing the company, he invested his whole fortune in, including his house. Kim wound up on the streets overnight. 임신한 아내가 처갓집에 보내고. 저는 너무 죄송스러워서 처갓집에 들어갈 수가 없더라고요. 그래서 이제 바깥에서 계속 이제 다니다가 보니까 이제 뭐 노숙하는 단계까지 이제 가게 됐죠. He hit rock bottom, but still mustered the courage to start all over again, thanks to the love and support of his family. Since then, Kim had to do all kinds of manual labor jobs he had never done before. Kim's hard work was totally worth it. He finally opened his own shop four years ago. In this 50-meter square place, we see both a cafe and dumpling house, and they have a secret here. Based on his past experiences, Kim wanted to establish a place that could help the homeless return to mainstream society. The founding cause was rather small, but this place has now become a large soup kitchen, serving 700 people every week. 처음에는 컵라면 한 다섯 개 정도 가지고 이 동네에 계시는 노숙인들 또 이런 분들에게 그냥 따뜻하게 국물 하나 대접해야 되겠다라고 해서 저희가 이제 제가 나가서 이렇게 했던 것들인데. This place is also a site for psychotherapy and vocational training for those in need. 이분들에게 여기서 같이 일하지 않겠냐 이런 제안들을 저희가 한 거죠. 이분들이 여기 와서 식사도 같이 준비를 하고 그다음에 커피도 같이 내리고 뭐 이런 단계까지 이제 나가게 된 거죠. This young employee in the place also has a new dream after years of struggle due to his sudden health issues. 
추상적으로 생각했던 행복이라는 게, 아, 현실에서 존재할 수 있구나. 그래서 이제, 어렵지만 좀, 나도 이렇게 살아봐야겠다라는, 네, 그런 생각이 있어요. Meanwhile, some people sang for hope when the whole country was on the brink of crisis. The song Cheer Up Dad also gave fathers the courage to stand up again. This song was produced by the elementary school teacher and composer Han Su Sung. Ironically enough, he had huge debts when he was producing the song. Han became a teacher after graduating from university but ended up taking out enormous debts while following his dreams as a musician. His whole family was suffering from that downfall. But then he reached an unexpected breakthrough. This is like this. 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 Then the song changed Han's life for real seven years later in 2004. It was featured on a TV commercial of a credit card company and gained nationwide popularity, allowing Han to pay back all his debts after 10 years. Inspired by the father who found a new opportunity from failure, Jiung is now following in his father's footsteps. 자기가 음악을 하면서 음악에서 위로도 받으시고 계속 하고자 하는 의지를 가진 사람은 삶을 포기할 수가 없잖아요. 진정으로 욜로의 인생을 사는 사람은 저희 아버지가 아닌가 그거를 많이 느낍니다. 네. 저도 저렇게 살고 싶어요. Han made an official debut as a singer recently. Han finally made his dreams come true in his 60s, proving that it's never too late and that no one is too old to achieve a goal or dream. He says hope blooms in the wilderness when people least expect it. Life is full of ups and downs. The trick is to enjoy the ups and have courage during the downs. These people are prime examples of that spirit, shining a ray of hope to people in despair. With unprecedented structural adjustment programs and an employment crisis, the 1997 economic turmoil changed Koreans' perception on jobs. Let's zoom in on that change to learn more about Koreans' view on occupation today. Studies say a significant number of young Koreans today hope to work for state-run enterprises and public institutions, apparently one in four. That phenomenon led to fierce competition for positions at public institutions, which is often regarded as the cause of high youth employment rates and lack of challenges. Because many devote years and years to acquire the jobs and pass the exams the job require. This social change resulted from the 1997 financial crisis. The Nodong Yuanha's heximi, Jungni Hego, will Jairoke, Halshin and Goyotko, Tohan, Kolojadri Jairoke, Koyongul Hago, Tohewal Shitorok, 
파견법 같은 것을 제정하는 뭐 이런 것들을 IMF가 구체적으로 요구를 했고 이제 그것이 시행이 되면서 우리나라 노동시장이 아주 그 전의 아주 장기 고용하는 그런 노동시장에서 아주 유연한 노동시장으로 바뀌는 계기가 되었습니다. According to the Korea Social Indicators 1995 by the National Statistics Office, 29.6% of the participants choose security as the number one factor. Then in 1998, a year after the currency crisis, that figure skyrocketed to 41.5%. In spite of the change, some continue to pursue new opportunities in a line of work that most people avoid. With the nickname The Master of Boilers, Lee Young Soo has been teaching techniques involving boilers as part of his talent donation project. Lee started this class right after the financial crisis. 실제 가신 분들, 뭐 조기 명퇴하신 분들, 어린 노숙자, 뭐또 가정 파탄 나고 이러한 분들을 보고 아 저분들을 내가 모아서 내가 갖고 있는 기능을 저 사람들한테 가르쳐서 사회에 다시 한번 나가서 재기를 할수 있도록 한번 기능 기술을 좀 가르쳐야 되겠다 해서 시작을 하게 됐습니다. To date, Lee has instructed nearly 500 people, including Chang Dong Young. Chang ran a small company after retiring from one of the leading companies in Korea and enrolled in this class to become a boiler technician. I was an engineer mind, so I thought I was going to get a little bit of a risk. So I thought I was going to get a little bit of a risk. But what I thought was that the past is the past, and the future is the future. I thought I was going to get a future. 또 현재 지금 이 배관이라든가 그 플러밍에 대해서 현재 지금 공부하고 있습니다. Right after the crisis, most of his students were middle-aged breadwinners who had retired from their previous jobs. But now, he has younger students hoping to acquire his techniques in order to build their startups. Rather than having office jobs with low job security, they choose to develop their own skills to earn a living, regardless of age. 제 자신을 자신이 이제 안정권을 만들 수 있는 수익을 내기 위한 사업을 하는 거기 때문에 그거를 이제 최종적으로 목표로 삼고 공부를 하고 있습니다. There are more youngsters taking up physically demanding jobs as well. This is Majangdong in Songdonggu where the largest meat market in Korea is located, composed of some 3,000 meat shops. The majority of the merchants are in their 40s, but there are some younger ones as well. This is Hong Suk Tae, youngest butcher in the market. Hong got into the livestock industry right after graduating from university. Hong opened his own shop two years ago, and it was the result of years of hard work and starting from the bottom. 빨리 단들보다 성장하기 위해서 이렇게 사업을 빨리 한 거예요. 에 그런 걸 목적으로 삼고 빨리 배워서 남들보다 덜 자고 더 열심히 해서 빨리 배운 거죠. Hong constantly visits slaughterhouses in search of higher quality meat. Also, his sensitive, creative marketing skills allowed him to further establish a solid customer base. He found a new opportunity from what people usually avoided. 열번 오시더라도 똑같은 맛을 제공시킬 수 있는 그런 업체가 되는 게 제일 힘들면서 어 장사가 잘될수 있는 그런 요소라고 보시면 돼요. In this competitive era, we can no longer rely on a single profession for a lifetime. These people took a brave step for a better future. And now, they are paving the path for many. A coal mine turned into an art mine. Let's visit Samtan Art Mine, a creative culture and art complex built on the site of an abandoned mine. Shh. 
This is Cheongsan, Gangwondo Province, where one of Korea's three major mines, Samchok Tanja, was located. Established in 1962, it was the largest private coal mine once flourished as the mecca of the industrial age and that proved the public's energy for nearly 40 years. With the employment of 3,000 miners, the mine accounted for 30% of the total coal production in the country. However, the mine was eventually closed in 2001, along with the decline of the coal industry, and remained only a forgotten historic site. 12 years after the closure in May 2013, the mine transformed into a culture and art complex named Samtan Art Mine. As the name implies, it refers to a mine for art. The four-story art center used to be an office building for the mine. The mine gallery preserves the old facilities used by the miners with an exceptional touch from contemporary artists. The shower heads in the space form a geometric pattern. Of course, this place used to be a shower room for miners. In this place, artists organized the exhibition Aphrodite, the foam-born goddess. The restroom is also used as an exhibition site. This installation depicts the hardships the miners had to face while using the bathroom in heavy armor suits. This place was the laundry for miners. The gigantic washing machines handled the laundry for some 1,000 miners working the three shifts every day. On the third floor of the building is Samtan History Museum, where visitors can learn more about stories about the miners. The museum offers detailed reports on them, along with respirators, helmets, walkie-talkies, and all other kinds of gear used in the underground tunnel. The museum also displays the application forms from the miners, the pay slips they received at the risk of their lives, and a pile of administrative documents. All of these capture the tremendous burden on the fathers at the time, which they happily carried to support their families. <laughs> This is the driver's cabin that carried the miners underground every day. The well-ordered control buttons and dashboards somewhat resemble today's contemporary art installation. Part of the underground tunnel is open to visitors called Rail by Museum. The shaft in the depth of 600 meters falls vertically below the 53-meter elevator. Samtan Art Mine is also famous for its contemporary museum. With a great diversity of artworks from both domestic and foreign artists, the museum enriches the hearts and souls of Cheongsan citizens. 60년대 초, 70년대 초까지 오면서 우리 대한민국의 산업 경제를 이끌었던 그 석탄 아닙니까? 근데 그 폐광돼서 오랫동안 정말 그 폐허처럼 돼 있는 곳에 이렇게 아름다운 문화 예술 광산이 생겼다. 현대와 과거가 공존하는 그런 문화 공간이 아닌가 이렇게 생각이 듭니다. 과거의 아픈 아픈 역사의 이전에 정말 이곳이 우리나라의 한 축을 가고 이루어 갔던 경제를 살리는 한 그런 장으로서 미래에는 좀잘 평가를 좀 해주시고 그런 것들이 아무래도 어좀 
가치 있는 공간으로 발돋움한 거에 대해서 좀 자부심을 좀 가져주셨으면 네, 좋겠습니다. Arts burst into full bloom at Samtan Art Mine through the soil of its history. Back in the old days, the coal from the mine fueled Korea, and now it's time for the arts from the mine to become a new driving force of Korean art and culture.